and love him like there's no tomorrow and the people around you it might look like this you get there and there's angels and they're worshiping him
somebody that's broken and hurting? Yes. You mean every time I ever serve somebody or feed them or give them something to drink, God's in that too? Absolutely. You, you mean he's in that rap music? Really? Then <laughs> you better believe it. <laughs> he's in that river dance stuff? Go figure. <laughs> and as you stand in heaven, it hits you. Oh, but I wasn't perfect. And I blew it a lot. And, and you look at him and you go, oh, but, but you still used me. Yes. What? <laughs> and you turn around and there's a multitude of people. And they're on their knees and they're looking at you. And they're saying, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And you look down and they're from different parts of the world. And you go, but I didn't know you. Oh, but yes. See, I was a kid over in Jamaica, and you never met me, but you sent some money over there one day, and you said, I can't go, but I'll send an offering. I'll send some money, and your money purchased the Bible that I read. Thank you. Wow. Are you kidding? And you run into somebody else who's saying, thank you. Oh, yeah. I went to school with you. Well, me and you didn't really know each other. I wasn't a great younger than you, but... I would see the way you walk down the hall. I would smell the fragrance of Christ on your life. I would see the way that you acted and reacted. Yes, ma'am, I know you. I worked in the same office complex. We didn't work together, but I saw you come and go, and I saw how you treated people. I was there. Your life was a testimony. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> What are you saying tonight, Bush? I'm saying this. If you would, stand on your feet tonight. We're closing. This is what I'm telling you. I came by to tell you tonight that Jesus Christ has a plan for you. He loves each and every single one of you. Regardless of if you're the oldest or the youngest person in the room, He is ready to rock your face off. He's ready to take your life in the way you've been living it. And in all your pain, some of you go home at night and you close the bedroom door when nobody's looking. They think you're going to bed. You close the door. You're alone. And you cry yourself to sleep. Some of you go home now, ladies, and you want to look like that model on that magazine or that MTV show. So you go and you eat a meal. And then when your mom and dad aren't looking or nobody's around, you go into the bathroom and you stick your finger in your mouth and you throw it up. Why? Because I want to be skinnier. I want to look a certain way. And you're damaging your body. You're damaging the temple that God created. Oh, I'm getting real tonight because my wife had it. And she was delivered. Some of you young men in this room, you struggle with pornography. You get on the internet or magazines and you're looking at images you got no business looking at. And Satan is robbing you of God's plan for your life. Maybe some adults in here. That was me. And God set me free. Oh, yeah. See, we're going to be real tonight. 